hello guys welcome back to the dnn medical series now in today's video i'll be looking on how to check your degree gpa and your semester gpa as well as how to use the gpa calculator so the gpa calculator is a fairly new feature of um, student administration system otherwise called sas all right and you can also manually calculate your gpa by looking at basically the amount of points that each letter has and the credit for the course but we're going to look on that later on in the video all right so let's start we're at sas right user login all right so you're going to enter your id number mine is already preset enter the passcode okay all right so my password and my id number is now on so basically this statement is just saying that you have fully registered unless you're in good um financial standing and you pay all your balance or you're up to date with your payment plan all right so there are two options at the top of this website it's a personal information so your personal information is just if you want to change like your address to update your email anything that has changed regarding your personal um, information you can do that on that part all right so you see address phone number emergency contact etc all right next we're going to go on student services because that's what we want so on student services as you can see this is where you register this is where you will check your grades apply for transfer to other faculty if you're a graduate student and you're going to submit your thesis this is where you will go all right so we're going to go on student records right because this is for your grades and stuff like that all right so you can check your balance by going on account summary by term or your midterm grades or your other grades but today we're focusing on your gpa system all right so we have the student unofficial transcript all right so you can click on that and then current degree medicine and surgery mbbs all right so you're going to click submit because that's the program that you're in right and then it says your transcript has been processed and now you just view your transcript all right so it usually takes some time um to be loaded all right so this basically is going to give you um your grades right so here you basically will see the attempted hours the past hours your gpa hours and finally your gpa for each semester the courses will be there and also the grades that you get for your courses and the final um, marks all right so yeah that is basically how you check your gpa and for your total gpa right it's usually at the top of the page or at the bottom in this case all right so it tells you the total institution how much hours that you attempt and basically your gpa all right so that gpa will be for your degree now it is different for med school than you um it is for different faculties so med school has a different gpa degree award system so for med if you have a gpa of 3.3 then that will be classified as honors right and if you have a gpa below 3.3 it's just a pass this is different from the normal system for other faculty where a first class honors will be 3.6 all right in med however there is another level of um, certification called distinction right and this is if your gpa is above 3.7 all right so this is basically how you check your gpa all right next we're going to move on and we're going to look on how to use your gpa calculator all right so unofficial calculator for your gpa so with this you're going to submit it for your current degree and basically for the courses that you're doing you can actually um predict the grades that you're going to get and calculate what your gpa would be like all right so for this semester we are doing for example genital urinal neuroscience and 
um, medical practice. So for example, I put a B there, but I don't know, to see what my GPA would be like if I got that. All right, so you can change it to any letter that you want. Let's say I get an A plus for um, neuroscience and an A plus for genital urinary system, right? You can press calculate your GPA and it basically will tell you what your GPA would be if you get those grades for the semester as well as what your cumulative um, GPA would have been. All right, so basically that's what it, it's doing. So you put in the grades that you expect to get and see what your GPA would be like. Also, if it's a case where you know you want a particular GPA, you can calculate to see what are the grades that you need to get in order to get that GPA. All right, so basically that's how you use this. Next, we're going to look on um, the marking scheme. All right, so if you want to calculate your own GPA, you can basically see the letters for the grades that you, you, you've received and then look at how many GPA points each is contributing. So for example, if you get a B plus, for example, in a three credit course, all right? So B plus is 3.3 for each credit, all right? So you're going to times 3.3 by the amount of credit for each course. So that's three. So you get what? 9.9. .9 right and then you divide it by the amount of credit which is three okay all right so for example i was saying that um if you're doing three courses this semester and then you get like say for example two a's and a b plus right and the three course one has six credit one has three credits one has three credits now, how you calculate your GPA manually, because I know some people have trust issues. So you want to ensure that you is giving you the correct GPA. A is four points, as we can see in the previous um, picture. And a B plus is 3.3. So how to calculate your GPA would be six times four, because it's a six credit course, plus three times four for that um, three credit course plus 3.3 .3 times 3. All right, so 6 4 is 24 plus 3 4 is 12 plus 3 times 3, 9.9. .9. So it's the amount of point for each letter times the credit first, right? Then you're going to add up all of this, all right? So you're going to get 36 plus 9, which is 45.9, all right? And then now when you get this total points, you're going to divide it by the amount of credit hours that is done. So it'd be 45.9 divided by 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 3 is 12. So you're going to divide it by 12. And this gives you your GPA, which is 3.825. So that's basically how you do it manually. I usually calculate it manually to ensure that GPA on the system is correct. But usually, your system is very efficient and they will give you the proper GPA. All right, so this video is basically on how to calculate your GPA manually, how to use the U system to check your GPA and how to use the GPA calculator basically to predict your grade and know what you need to do in order to get the desired GPA. All right, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. All right.